In these problems, we are being given either the area of a square or the perimeter of a square, and we're being asked to find out what the side length is of each side of the square. And um, that's only one number that we need to find because each side length of a square is the same as, as each of the others. Let's start with the area. Here we have an area of 9 yards square. We know that the area of a square is the side squared. So if 9 is the area, 9 equals the side squared. To solve for s, since s is squared, we would just take the square root of each side. And we would get 3 over here and s. Technically, you'd get a plus and a minus 3, two possible answers. But having a negative length doesn't make sense. So we just take the answer that makes sense. So, And the units here are going to be yards, just plain old yards. This is no longer an area. This is just a length. So three yards is the answer to the first one. The second one says the square has a perimeter of 68 feet. So what's the length of each side? And of course, the perimeter is the area around the outside. So you're just taking this side and this side and this side and this side and adding them all together. So you could write that as s plus s plus s plus s. I'm going to write that as four s's, four times s. It's a little simpler. That's a good formula for the perimeter of a square. So we know the perimeter equals 68. And we've got four s then equals 68. So all we really need to do is to solve for s here is to divide both sides by four. And in that case, you get s equals uh, 17. And the unit units are feet here. So 17 feet for the side of that square. So that is some work with finding the side lengths of squares when you have either an area or a perimeter.